So here I have some penguins going up a slope and we are going to be working out the um, gravitational potential energy. From the gravitational potential energy, we're going to work out the velocity at which these penguins are travelling up and down the slope. This is quite a lot of fun there. There they go. Oh, a little bit stuck. Up to the top. And then down. Okay, so we need to do a little bit of maths for this. First of all, we're going to work out the gravitational potential energy. So this is our equation for gravitational potential energy. Energy is in joules. Mass is in kilograms. Um, G is the uh, gravitational um, fields, um, and you need to remember that is 10. And height is in meters. So we need to do a little bit of um, pre-mass because the um, mass of the penguins is 5.7 grams. So we need to convert that into kilograms. To convert grams into kilograms, we divide it by 1,000, which means the mass is 0 0.0057 kilograms. The height of the steps was 23 centimetres. We need to convert that into metres, so we divide by 100, so that equals 0 0.23 metres. Then we just need to plug our numbers into the equation. So gravitational potential energy is what we are working out. This is mass times gravity times height. Our mass is 0 0.0057 times 10 times the height, which is 0 0.2. We plug all of that into the calculators and we get a result of 0 0.01311 joules. So that's gravitational potential energy. We can take that information, pop it into our equation for kinetic energy and we can work out that velocity. So this is our kinetic energy in joules, half is just half, mass again is in kilograms and velocity squared is going to be in meters per second. So we know how much um, kinetic energy they have because it's um, going to be the same number as the gravitational potential energy. Once they got to the top, um, they had the maximum amount of gravitational potential energy and once they started falling down, that's when the gravitational potential energy turned into kinetic energy. So we know that number, which is 0.01311, is equal to half times the mass. We have the mass from before. It is uh, where we put mass is 0 0.0057, and that is times the velocity squared. So um, we need to do a little bit of maths, and we can work out that the velocity squared is equal to 4.6. So the velocity must be equal to 1.2.41 meters per second. So. Um, it may look quite impossible to work out the velocity and the gravitational potential energy from um, just a simple child's game, but it was actually quite easy. You just had to do a little bit of thinking and use your equations properly.